to be certified. What we've seen, and uh, this is kind of what prompted us to give you a call and come in the studio, what we've seen is some, uh, some organizations that are promoting that they could actually issue these cards, but these organizations are not inside the state. And uh, it seemed to be a little misleading on how that works and what's involved in that. Uh, t- tell us about what you know about that, and, and then uh, please describe, again, the, the process. What is legal? What is the legal procedure to receive a card? So, first of all, there's, there's not going to be any product available to be purchased until late 2022. Okay. So we're talking you know, November, December. So if anybody's trying to sell you cannabis in any form between now and then, um, you know, you better you better be very, very skeptical because okay. it's probably black market. Um, a card, uh, once you get certified by a practitioner, a card's going to cost you $25 from the Department of Health, and, a, and that's going to be valid for a year, and then you'll get a new card the next year, assuming that you get another you know, visit from your practitioner, get another certification, $25 for a, another card. So... Um, if someone's advertising on that they will do something for two hundred dollars, you know immediately that a card costs twenty five dollars. If someone's uh, doing something from out of state, you know that that has nothing to do with our medical cannabis program. So all of these people are scammers, and I believe that you know there is a seventh level of Dante's hell that is reserved for people like this who are trying to take advantage of of the public. So you know nothing is going to be happening super fast this year once the people can start applying for a license whether that's a practitioner or a cultivator or processor or tester or disposal destruction or transportation entity once they begin uh, applying which will happen somewhere around june the third i believe that's 120 days from the passage which was february 3rd or february Mm -hmm. 2nd right so they can apply then uh, the department of health has 30 days um, to accept or deny uh, their application. And once they have made a determination to accept or deny it, then they have five days to issue their card. Okay. So, and so if they deny it, they have to tell them why. Hmm. So, but, so that's going to go into July. Well, the dispensaries, the only place the public is allowed, the dispensaries can't even apply for a license until 150 days after passage, which is going to be somewhere around July 2nd or 3rd. I mean, okay. I mean, it's somewhere in that week. And so they will apply for the license. Again, they'll have 30 days to process this license. So here we go all the way to August before the dispensaries even know if they have a license. So we gave the cultivators and processors a 30-day head start so they could begin growing the plant. They could begin processing the plant uh, to get, get ahead of the dispensaries because the dispensaries cannot sell anything that was not grown, that was not processed, that was not tested in the state of Mississippi. Okay. Anything that's in a dispensary has to have been tested by our Mississippi Department of Health. It, ha- it has to be tested by one of our testing facilities that's regulated by the Department of Health. Let me say it that way. Okay. Um, so it's, it is a, this program is very much a Mississippi-only program, and uh, anything that you see that's coming from somewhere outside our state is a, is a scam. Interesting. And maybe if it's coming inside the state, if it doesn't meet the criteria that yeah. I just mentioned. Yeah, gotcha. So the main thing is, folks, beware.